Hello and welcome. What follows is a brief introduction to the process you should follow to make good explainer videos. Good is emphasized here because we all know it's easy to make bad ones. There are lots of those out there. We call them explainer videos because, well, that's what they do. Mostly, these are some version of a how-to video, really useful for everything from a fully developed training course to a quick, hey, here's how to solve that problem you have. YouTube is full of these, and they're so incredibly valuable. There's some very good tools out there now that are easier than ever to use, and they get better all the time. So if you want to make videos yourself, go for it. If you want someone else to do it for you, there are lots of people out there like us who do it for a living. Either way, what follows will give you a good idea of the process. By the way, these ideas apply regardless of what software you use and for any kind of video. All right, ready? Let's get started. We can condense the process down to four steps. Each of these is important and it is important to walk through them in this order. I'll explain why as we go, and we'll dive into more detail on each step shortly. But first, here are the four steps. One, plan. This is where you sketch out your idea for the video. Two, write a script. You create this for your voice actor and include side notes on what will be on the screen at the time. Three, record audio. Make the best audio recording you can. It really is the most important part. Four, assemble your video. Collect what you will need, record any video needed per the script, and put it together. So step one is to plan. Why plan? Well, to help ensure success and avoid wasting your time. You can do this in a way that works for you, either using an outline or a storyboard like filmmakers do. If you're working on a quick one-time video for a single use case, obviously you don't need a great deal of planning or an elaborate storyboard. Likewise, if this is a big project with many stakeholders and you expect many viewers of your work, planning is a very important part. And those stakeholders should probably see your outline and or storyboard early on. You want to get everyone's agreement at key points along the way. Part of your planning should be to get more information about the project, about the intended audience, goals of the video, etc. We have listed some ideas here in the form of questions. You will want to know, for example, if there's an ask that will be incorporated. Sign up for our newsletter, visit our website, subscribe to our channel, where the video is to be hosted, and any technical requirements that may need to be followed. You'll need logo files and information about corporate standards for logo use, colors, things like that, if you're working with a large corporation. If the video is explaining some new application feature, for example, be sure you understand what changes are part of the new features. That way, you can enhance that portion of the screen recording with a zoom or animation. Is this expected to be part of a series? Then you may want to create intro and outro videos that can be used to show an episode number or description, for example, like we did in the beginning of this video. Step two is to write a script. The script will eventually become what will be read by your voice actor, whoever that may be. It does not have to be elaborate, but it will be the basis for your video and the tone and timing of the video. It needs to be in sequence and you should add notes to indicate what should be on the screen while each part of the script is being read. We like a conversational tone for these kinds of videos. By the way, if you intend to have a talking head on screen, obviously you should plan to record the video at the same time as your audio. Again, we recommend getting everyone involved to agree on the script before you go on to the next step, which is record the audio. While it may seem counterintuitive, you want to record the audio portion of your video first, refine it and make sure everyone involved is happy with it before you go on. This is where you need an objective ear and listen for any flaws in the recording, any mic noises or other sounds that might distract from your message. Also, listen for wordy sections, awkward phrasing or unnecessary jargon that could be removed or more clearly stated. Be sure that whoever is voicing it speaks clearly, injects pauses and is unrushed. Why? 
because a pause in the audio makes it much easier to edit after the fact if you find something that needs to be changed. The audio track is the foundation for your project, so it is worth taking the time to do it well. Step four is assemble your video. You have your audio track already from step three. Now, create any videos you need, add still images, photos, and start assembling your video. Look for ways to improve the flow and streamline where possible. Tell the story you want to tell. Take the time needed to tell it. But remember your ultimate goal. Your video should be as long as necessary and as short as possible. Thank you for watching.